Both of these teams coming in at 2-2. Two and two. We mentioned the overtime victories. Notre Dame over Oklahoma State and Maryland Eastern Shore over Penn and the Hawks win the tip in a long, long time. 40 years. Deontay Johnson under five on the timer. Top of the key, three falls from Hupstead. That's going to win you some games. Under 10 on the timer for Roker. Down low, Zona off the glass. Uh, due to the portal, they brought in a lot of new players. Upstead again, that's what he usually does, yes. going inside, looking to get a little bit better in that category. The game against Oklahoma State, that was the first time this season that Notre Dame led at the end of the first half as Kinesny nails the three. Kinesny drives instead, kicks out, Roper's three falls. And a good sign for Notre Dame to see those two threes drop. And they were shooting just 22% on the season coming into this game as that jumper goes. Did he have a couple of yes. big shots in that <laughs> win over Penn? Where the those? one to tie? Yes. And then the game winner with .9 left in overtime. Roper looking for another one, and he's got it. Wow. Preseason third team all MEAC. Provides some leadership for this team with a lot of new faces as here's a drive on the baseline. That doesn't fall, and Marcus Burton grabs the rebound. Roper. Kinesny looking for another. Too strong on that one. Battle for the rebound, and Tay Davis comes away with it. Burton lines up a three. No good, and there's the putback for Tay Davis. Ellis in the corner. Upstead looking for another three. That one's off target, and Burton with the rebound. 19 and a half points per game. He leads all ACC freshmen. Here's Zona. Driving and puts it off the glass it in. Burton trying to bounce pass it. Five on the timer here. Over to Shrewsbury driving in and he has it swatted. And here come the Hawks. Turnovers are starting to mount up a little bit for the Irish. As that three falls from Tyler Mack. At Eastern Maryland Short. Well, free throws good there from Tay Davis as they're on the drive. Nadozi unable to finish, and then Booth was fouled. There is a lot of length reflecting, making people make adjustments as they go to the rim, which they haven't had in the past. Shrewsbury, deep three, and he rattles it home. Again, I think when you see that first one go through as a shooter, it just gives you a lot more confidence. Yao tries a three and hits it. Jai down low, out to Booth for three. That one short, and the rebound taken there. That's not a scouting report, That's a, that frustrates coaches when they say, hey, this wasn't <laughs> in the report. What's happening here? Notre Dame has to get a shot away. Imes with a teardrop off the glass it in. And that says a lot about Burton's game too. He's not forced anything. Underneath the reverse lay-in, Davon Ellis. Five on the shot clock, good cut by Burton. The kick out, Shrewsbury, corner three. He hits it, plus the foul. Oh my goodness. Making both there, it's a 7-0 run, a 14-2 extended run for Notre Dame, pushing the lead up to 19. Good switch out underneath. Mack, baseline jumper, blocked by Imes. Good patience. Burton, shot clock under 10. Elbow jumper, too strong. The Hawks need a bucket. Mack looking for it. Can't hit the three. And Roper nearly had it poked away. Notre Dame moving in a transition. Roper, two boot for the two-handed slam. He is advancing the ball, keeping your head up. Now he looks to his left, then he looks to his right. And if I had somebody to throw it to, I think going by the 6'10". Step back jumper, Ellis. Boy, did they need they that. Needed that one. Or again, if you knock down a three here, get back in a little momentum at halftime. It was Kalichi Okwaraguo who just came on for the first time. Six rebounds, four assists. You take a look at the game summary. Statistics really controlled by Notre Dame, and then Burton gets going, of course, yeah, to start the second I, I, half. 
came into this game averaging just over 11 per game. Zona for three, and he hits it. Ends up in the hands of Hupstead. Skip pass across for Ellis against Konezny. Nice drive. Really strong move to the basket. Foul there went on Elijah Wilson, his second of the night. Second team foul on UMES in the second half as here's Burton underneath the basket. Yeah. Ahead to Burton. Marcus Burton looking for two more, and he's got him yeah. into double figures. Ellis. Now Johnson spinning his way, blocked by Zona. UMES on another cold streak, yes. nearly three yeah. minutes without a made field goal. Again, I give Notre Dame a lot of credit defensively for that. Upstead hey. knocks down his second three of the night. The all-time leading scorer in St. Joseph County, which is a oh. pretty impressive accomplishment as Hupstead can't finish. Offensive rebound once again, rolled over the rim by Nadozi. UMES with nine offensive rebounds. Saw a couple on that possession. Nice dish down for Jai. And his first points of the season. Hupstead again, are you kidding me? He was 0 for 5. Coming into the night, he's hit three threes. Roper on the baseline. Kicks out Shrewsbury. Nice Extra pass for Imes, and he knocks down the three. Incredible. Got the ball inside, inside out, made the extra pass, and had a wide open look. Yao driving hard. And Jai comes away with a rebound. Shot clock under 10. We'll see. Jai for three. He hits it in the corner. Looking with the padding on his hand. But we were watching the pregame. He shot the ball so well. And that's a good sign to knock in that three. Short jumper good off the window from Nadozi. Here's another guy that can shoot it. Gary Booth. Yes, he can for three. That's going to open up the driving lane for Burton. And so as everybody hitting them really makes a big difference. Nadozi with the lob for Yao nearly had the alley-oop. Great Monty Claxton has Great. it stolen by Burton. And Marcus Burton is blocked on the other end. Good recovery there by Naboya. Now the Hawks in transition. Claxton doesn't fall. The team that creates turnovers has not been able to do it tonight against the Irish. Well, the clock's frozen right now, but the bucket will count for Notre Dame. Tay Davis, oh, now it's moving, but they're going to have to yeah. take down some seconds. As there's a little runner, and that goes there from Nadozi. Well, again, he's one that's going to continue to get better and understand the game. As Burton, veteran move right there off the yes. window. Notre Dame, six of their last seven from the field. Claxton with the runner. But they are so long with this lineup. Konezny, no. And Yao grabs the rebound. Especially in the defensive end that really contests everything. Poked away. Burton nice with the pass. dish for Konezny. South Bend connection oh. for two. Here's Konezny on the baseline, fall away jumper. Getting great play from not only the starters, but the bench tonight. And that's going to always help as you get into the ACC you know, conference play. You know, getting in a portal, and a lot of them don't have any place to go once they uh, get in the portal. As Imes is blocked from behind, and the shot clock violation will give it to UMES. Here's Hupstead. Davis handed his face, but he hits the jumper. Under 10 on the timer. Good pass inside. Jai backing his way in. The hook shot goes. Hats off to that for sure. Here's Jai into the corner. Sanders for three at the uh, shot clock buzzer. You got to feel good about that. We'll get to see them after this. Great moment for Tony Sanders Jr. scoring his first points of the season. First points for Tony Sanders Jr. of the season.
And we see a couple of walk-ons getting ready to come in for Notre Dame. They added five to the roster. As best as he can. As Alex Wade had it stripped away. Started his career as a walk-on. Earned a scholarship prior to this season. As Jai comes away with the board. Purdue by three points. So there's going to be some tough challenges ahead for this young team. Yeah, that's on the road at Marquette. That is going to be a real challenge. And Georgetown as well. Good to see some of those former rivals for Notre yes. Dame back on the schedule. Yes. And for Raheem Brayton, another local product yes. from South Bend. Had it stolen away for a moment. Nadozi with the dish for Okwaraguo. Pops out into the corner. Hatton for three, and he swishes it. Thomas Hatton. Okwarago. It's the two-point jumper. Raheem Brayton can dribble out the final seconds. So he'll give it over there to JT Kelly. And Notre Dame with a 20-point win. Good early Thanksgiving night for Notre Dame.